are competing includes men and women whose names run right through the top of the world ranking list. And as well, there are Olympic champions and world record holders too. But the biggest attraction tonight is a Briton, Sebastian Coe, the world record holder at 800 meters and 1,000 meters, and going tonight for both the world 1,500 meters and the mile in the same race. A crowd quietening now. And Cole, by the way, has not run a mile since he broke the world record two years ago. The attack on the world one-mile record underway. And straight away, Cole's holding the curb. And Tom Byers has got a fast on the inside. That's what we expected. Cole in second place, Gonzalez third, and Boyd is fourth. And Boyd, Cole and Byers have all been training together. Into the back straight is Gonzalez four, Bessing Hager five, then Steve Cram in sixth place. The atmosphere is quite incredible. It's all important this first lap is not too fast. Remember the check times. Ovet did 55.7 when he set the world record. So relaxed in second place, looking very easy. Gonzalez third, four is Boyd, five is got, uh, Wessingaga, and six is Steve Crack. Coming round to the end of a vital first lap, and then slow, 56.13, outside a world record pace. But it may not be too disastrous if they put it in on this lap. The important thing was not to draw too much out of the bank too soon. But this lap now becomes very, very important. Byers lead, Coe second, Gonzalez third, Boyce fourth, Lessinghaga five. And the last man in history to break both 1,500 metres and the world mile record in one race was John Landy, the Australian back in 1954. Still Byers looking and hurried in front. Coe tracks him, Boyce goes third, Gonzalez is fourth, Lessinghaga still five, Steve Cram is sixth, delays and Switzerland in seventh place. He's got the American record holders made no move yet, and they've got to increase the pace. Peter Coe in the background, waving set through. The time 153.59, and they're back on schedule. Over did 153.8, so that was a good piece of pace making. And now Byers really goes. Coe's got company on this killing third lap. It's always punishing when you're so far from home, and Byers is feeling it. Can Boyd go and help? Coe waiting there. He's the man, he says. I'm prepared to accept going alone. And it looks as if he may well have to do. Can't afford to wait too long. And there goes Coe. Boyd follows, but can he help? Coe leads. Boyd second. Byers is absolutely dead. He's going backwards. Steve Cram now in third place. Fessing Hogger four. Gonzalez five. But Coe now going away slightly from Boyd. The time we're looking for at three quarters is something inside 251, and he's outside the record at the moment. What can he do on the last lap? Oh, that's at 57.8 to bring it back inside. And Coe's got to do faster than that. He's really got to go now. The 1,500 meter record comes up at the end of the back straight. This is really survival now for Coe. Steve Cram in the picture, closing up in third place, a remarkable run by the 20-year-old as they approach the 1,500 meter point. The world record on the left-hand side of the frame, and Coe is feeling this. And he's, well, they didn't stop the clock, they have now, he's outside it. Oh, this world record survives, and it looks as like if the mile will survive as well. Coe going for home, Boyd in second place, Cram third, can Coe do it? And he's just done it! Boyd second. In third place was Cram. Fourth was Walker. Five betting Auger. Six delays. And he came back. And he missed the 1500 meter record to take the world mile record. What a courageous piece of running that was by Sebastian Coe. So now has broken a world record for the seventh time. And he now holds three world records at the same time. If the clock on the right is right, well, he's missed the world record, 
by nearly two seconds at 1,500 metres. But look at him battling now for home as he's never had to fight before. The pace was a bit too slow early on. They got back inside it, but then it dropped again. And Cole perhaps left in front a little bit too soon. Nevertheless, he comes home in front at 348.5, the old world record, 348.8, but we've got to wait for official confirmation. Point second, Steve Cram at 20, an astonishing third. And the news is through that the world record has been broken. Sebastian Coe's new world record time, 3 minutes 48.53.